What's up guys? Man, it's been a while. Sorry, it's been like what a few weeks I think since the last time I posted a video. Um, so just kind of update everybody. So, you know, basically just took a cross country trip uh, from Boston to Seattle. Uh, originally I was planning on just like stopping along the way, a bunch of uh, cities just kind of filming as, as I went. But um, I just didn't want to, man. I just wanted to just get to Seattle and just find a place to call home for a little while. Um, I stopped at a couple of places, but it wasn't really interesting to film. The only one I filmed was, uh, I think, Niagara Falls. That was about it. Um, I did a cool, like, I did a seven-day challenge, the camping challenge, where you uh, camp out in your car. As you, I did it as I was traveling to Seattle. Um, so, oh, it might have been a little less, like five days or something, but it was pretty cool. So I have a bunch of feedback on that. I'm going to make some films and stuff, so I think these guys are going to like that. Um, and uh, so right now I'm in downtown Seattle. And uh, I just found a parking parking spot. It's early barrel special. It's like 15 bucks or something like that. You can park here for the day, which is a really good deal. Cause uh, like any other major city, like New York or Boston, um, you're gonna pay a ton of money for parking. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all the touristy stuff right now in this video. Uh, show these guys around. So uh, here we go. I I'm I'm do another two. So. I okay, cool. So you say this is for your shop? Are you a baby shop? It's just right here on Western. Ah, ah, and that's what the arrow's about. Okay, cool, gotcha. From yesterday. Ah, okay. Oh, that's the guys well this is uh this is the gum wall uh this is something that's been around for like 25 years i think it started like the early 90s uh so tourists will come come along and obviously they'll stick a piece of gum up and uh over the years it built up quite a bit they cleaned it off one time uh i think it was 2015 and they they managed to get over 2300 pounds worth of gum off pretty crazy um so definitely interesting really cool and uh Kind of gross all at the same time.
this is uh, Pike Place Market. So this has been around since like 1907. Uh, it's a little over 100 years. Uh, it's one of the oldest markets that are uh, still running. To uh, be honest, I'm not sure how they make any money because it seems like everybody that was there was a tourist, but uh, they must be doing something. Um, and the prices seem pretty reasonable. I mean, a little high, but you know, that was expected. It wasn't too bad. So yeah, they sell a little bit of everything. Um, uh, they sell like all like local grown, organic um, fruits and vegetables, local seafood. Um, a lot of like the local crafts uh, from I mean all kinds of stuff they got like um, herbal medicine to like necklaces and uh, paintings some of them's uh, really really good too uh, this here this is um, I didn't even try it but it's supposedly like one of the best like pastry shops around uh, in Seattle at least in that area and this is me, this is just selfie time right here. <laughs> so yeah, I just walking around, just trying to get some of the art in the background. I didn't want to go right up on top of it. Um, wasn't sure how they're gonna feel about it. So I figured I'd just walk through it. So you can see in the background, there's like a bunch of like paintings and um, all different types of artwork. And I just thought this was just really, really funny. This is just a bathroom sign. Looks like someone's like kidnapping the lady's baby. I, and it's everywhere. <laughs> I just thought it was a trip. All right, well, this is the line to the, uh, the original Starbucks. Uh, started in 1971, right here in uh, Pike's Place. Uh, I didn't get a chance to try it. Uh, the line was too long. It's like the fourth time I've, uh, fourth or fifth time I've visited this area. And every time I say I'm gonna go grab a Starbucks, but I just look at the line and I'm like, ah, oh, dude, it's not worth the half hour wait or whatever, how long it takes. So yeah, unfortunately I didn't try it this time, but maybe next time. This here is uh, this is Elliott Bay. Uh, what you're looking at now, that's uh, Central uh, Waterfront. Uh, that area there is mostly uh, souvenir shops and restaurants. Um, obviously, you have that wheel ferrule there. That's uh, that wheel Ferris is uh, Ferris wheel. Jeez, it's uh, it's only about four or five years old. It's actually pretty new. I was pretty surprised when I found that out. Uh, there's also an aquarium around there and a bunch of other cool stuff. I actually have a separate video coming out just for that. So this is pretty funny so obviously I have a lot of street performers this is uh, the Vietnamese magician who works absolutely free but every time he does a trick he like begs the people to pay him <laughs> hey whatever everybody's got a hustle right good for him I'd give him some money he just seemed like a pretty funny guy
so this is just uh, more of uh, Pike's uh, Marketplace. Uh, there's like six different levels or something like that. Uh, from the ground level, where I showed you where that, um, was it the central uh, waterfront? Uh, you cross over and you can take an elevator, you take stairs, and it goes up about six floors before you hit the actual market. Uh, then you get a bunch of all these stores. This is uh, the most popular one. It's most kind of cool that I thought uh, worth filming. So a bunch of like knickknacks and um, and just oddball stores that you're surprised are even still open. Like a used bookstore, a comic book store, t-shirt shop. Um, I think I even seen like a DVD store or something. I don't know how these guys are making money, but good for them. Uh, this here is uh, it's a magic store. That was actually kind of cool. It had, you know, it showed, um, what do you call it? It sold a bunch of like, uh, it was old gag um, magic tricks, like, you know, the nasty gum and stuff. Um, yeah, so it was pretty cool just walking around there. That's the Space Needle. Ferris wheel and that's where Pike places and what else? Starbucks Castle. Oh yeah, the, the main headquarters. Yeah, yeah, the main Starbucks, the first one. 